Hey, I just wanted to say that nobody has the power to make you feel guilty. Ultimately, guilt only arises if we have the belief system that what we did was wrong. So if, if, if our belief corresponds to our action, then we will, there is no reason for us to feel guilty. For example, if I, if, I, um, if I say something to somebody and they get offended, but I didn't mean it, if I only meant good things or nice things or just talking normally where there is absolutely zero energy or intention to offend, to belittle or degrade or anything like that, then if they give out to us or s try and shame us, we, we have, if we have the belief and know within ourselves that we did not do anything wrong or bad, there's nothing destructive about us that we meant, then we, we, we have the ability to not even start to feel guilty. And it's their, it's something that they have to heal from and let go of and understand and we can compassionately communicate with them from our heart if we wish to explain something for, to them in this regard. So others can, practically speaking, others can actually start to make us feel guilty, but that only happens when, they, when their words start to affect our belief. They make us, they affect and make us doubt ourselves. So first of all, they, they we question ourselves, but if we then question ourselves and come up with the, come up with the feeling that yeah actually maybe I was wrong like let's say you did something and it actually really wasn't that nice and at the time you were just being very thoughtless and careless and you think you're innocent to begin with like everybody does and then they say something then they you think which is good so it's good to be questioned and it's good to change it's good to be open and flexible with your belief systems because if you're totally closed and rigid then you'll never change your beliefs and you'll remain stagnant in old limiting belief systems or destructive belief systems to others or yourself. So it's good to be questioned and it's good to have an open mind and ear and heart. So so in, in the end it can be good to, to feel guilty in a, in a, if it, because it's, it's, a, it's a catalyst for us to change and to grow and expand and evolve as a human being. So in that regard, guilt in itself is a useful emotion. It helps inspire and motivate us to change for the better and to become more harmonious within ourselves and to be more kinder and harmonious and loving and tender in our relationships and our behavior outwardly and inwardly with ourselves as well. So we, if somebody like tells us something or says something to us, we, we could then feel a bit guilty or like upset and think, oh yeah, I made a mistake, actually, I shouldn't really do that anymore, that's not nice. And then you can maybe say sorry, and then you can say, oh, I'll try not to do that again, or I won't do that again. And then you've become a better person with more insight and wisdom, thanks to another person possibly giving out to you or saying something to you in, a, in, a, in, a, in whatever way they say it. So the, the, the third way is you, do, you feel guilty because you just know you've done something wrong <laughs> without anybody having to say anything to you. And that's when, that's when you can just change yourself and use the emotion for your benefit. Use it for what it's there for, to help motivate evolution and change. Ah, oh, so beautiful here, loving the fresh air, loving nature, loving the mountains, loving the birds, loving the sky, loving the sunshine, loving the ground beneath my feet, Mother Earth always supporting me and us. We're so thankful. I'm so glad I'm not dangling or falling. And finally, how do you let go of guilt? You let go of guilt by learning from it and forgiving yourself and letting go. Forgiving yourself and other people, then you change for the better, then you can let go of guilt. Forgiveness and letting go is a free, it's path to freedom, the way of freedom, the way of peace. So that basically concludes it and thanks for watching. Much love and joyful respect to you. Pleasure to make the video and let me know what you think or any questions or comments below. See you soon. Bye. Take care. Have a lovely day. See ya.